Yesterday, thousands turned up at Babujan on the quarantine for the commemoration of the 100th birth anniversary of former president, the late Dr. Chedi Jagan. Michael Khan reports. Hundreds of persons gathered here at the Babujan Memorial site to commemorate the 100th birth anniversary of Dr. Chedi Jagan. Many supporters of the People's Progressive Party Civic gathered to listen to the likes of former Prime Minister Samuel Hines, former President Donald Ramutar, and former President Bharat Jagdio, who is also the General Secretary of the People's Progressive Party Civic. The late Dr. Cherry Bharat Jagan, who served as Guyana's third executive president from 1992 to 1997, was born on the 22nd of March 1918 at Port Morant, Burbies, and died on March 6, 1997, after a brief period of illness in Washington, D.C. in the United States. The late co-founder of the People's Progressive Party, was the first elected chief minister in 1953 and later premier of British Guyana from 1961 to 1964. Yesterday, the ardent supporters, activists, and leaders of the People's Progressive Party Civic gathered for the 21st consecutive year to pay tribute to the renowned former president. Member of Parliament Dr. Adrian Anamaya reflected on the life of Dr. Jagan by quoting excerpts of his speech during the days of political struggles. I believe that my first charge is to raise my people from the mire of poverty in which for too long they have suffered. I have never made any secret of my views. I have been thrown out of office. I have been subjected to violence, indignity and jail. I am willing to face these things again and gladly in the fight to free my people and aid them, here I stand, here I will stand until I die. Those are the words of our leader, Chedi Jagan. Are you willing to continue to stand for what he stood for? Former Prime Minister Samuel Hines, who formed a coalition with Dr. Jagan prior to the 1992 general elections, also paid a tribute to his former political cohort. 21 years since he passed away and left us, but 100 years since he was born here of immigrants from India. But Dr. Chedi Jagan led an exemplary life, an exemplary human being, an exemplary Guyanese. The one who earliest felt the yearnings to be a Guyanese and who lived the life of a Guyanese patriot, always putting Guyana first. And he did, comrades, through those years from 1964 until 1992, he suffered and endured a lot for being a Guyanese and for putting Guyana, putting Guyana first. The event was briefly punctuated with cultural presentations by the young and old. Former President Donald Ramutar, who led a minority government from 2011 to 2015, highlighted many of the achievements of Dr. Jagan. They say that on March 22nd, we will observe the centenary of Comrade Chedi Jagan. And 
It is also the 21st. We observe the 21st anniversary since he passed on. In those years, a lot has changed. But what is important for us is the fact that we are today standing on every single one of the achievements that we can talk about in this country. The event culminated with the remarks of Dr. Barrett Jagdiu, who became Guyana's youngest and longest serving executive president when the late Janet Jagan demitted office in 1999. It would be very hard for me to trace the course of Guyana over the past hundred years, how we move from near slave-like conditions in this country to proud people now living in dignity, fighting to carve a nation that brings everyone together and that will provide a good life for all of us. That journey has been a long one, 100 years for Chedi Jagan. And, uh, but if you trace the period that Chedi Jagan had an active role in the past hundred years in the formation of national ethos and a nation, you cannot help but conclude that Chedi Jagan had a defining influence on this nation and how it has been shaped. According to the March 7, 1997 edition of the New York Times, the late Chedi Jagan, who was a dentist by training, was the firebrand who led Guyana to independence and was one of the Caribbean's most contentious political leaders for over half a century. Michael Kahn, reporting for Channel 8 News from Babujon on the Quarantine.